there's some little things that you can do that can make your computer more accessible, especially if you have a little bit of a motor delay. Sometimes just tweaking the, the settings in your mouse is enough to make you um, be able to have the increased control that you need to have. So on a Windows computer, I'm going to show you how you can um, manage some of your mouse features. We're going to go down to the Windows flag and go to our settings tab and then we're going to select ease of access and then we're going to choose the mouse and here you'll see that there's a variety of things that you can do to support vision so one of those things is to change the pointer size so you can uh, choose small medium or large you can see i have the large one i like to be able to see the other thing is to change the pointer color so you can have a, a clear white outline you can have a black pointer or you can have one that um, has high contrast and of course that's the one that i like to have so if i'm over a white surface it's going to be black and if i'm over the black surface it's going to turn to white so that makes it easier for me to be able to see if I needed more control over the mouse and was unable to hold the actual mouse in my hand, I could use the numeric keypad to move the mouse around. And you'll look on your numeric keypad, you'll see arrows that are right, left, up, and down. So you can turn this on, and then when your num lock is on, you can use the arrow keys on your number keypad. You can adjust the speed of the mouse. Um, when you're using the number uh, number keypad by uh, activating this button and holding your control key down to speed up and your shift key to um, slow down. And here's where you do the, the adjustment to turn on the keypad so that you can use it. But there's some other things that you can do as well to help with the mouse. And one of those things is the um, thickness of the cursor. So... Um, you can adjust the thickness. You can see a sample here and I can adjust the thickness so that it's easier to see. I can turn on visual notifications so that it will um, flash or it will do some kind of notification when I get a sound. That's if I'm hearing impaired and I've got one of these activated. So there's a variety of things that you can do to um, raise your awareness of the mouse. And then there's also the ability to change the speed of the mouse cursor. If we go back to the home settings and we go into devices and pick the mouse here instead of in ease of access, you can see that you can control which is your primary button. So your left click button, it can be the left button, or if you're left-handed, perhaps you might want it to be the right button if you're using your mouse with your uh, left hand. You can adjust how fast or how much the, the, the cursor will scroll when you roll your wheel so that you can do one screen at a time, multiple lines at a time, and how many lines it will scroll, you can adjust here so that you can refine that scrolling a little bit. I like to have that kind of low. Um, and you can also scroll over in active windows when you hover over them. So you can adjust how it scrolls that way as well. So there's a variety of ways that you can do that. And let's go to additional mouse options. And here you get uh, a screen that is pretty much matched to your particular mouse. Again, you can switch the primary and secondary buttons, but here's some really nice features that I would like you to notice. If you have trouble double clicking, you can adjust the speed of the double click, or you can actually tell the program in, um, another place where it says folders, you can tell it that you just want a single click to open folders. So that works well for our students who have difficulty isolating their in index finger to double click. You can turn on click lock, which is good for those people who have difficulty dragging things. Um, if they drag it, then they can 
click on it and then drag and then click on it to release. So that again, takes a little less motor control, but it's a skill that you have to learn how to do. Um, on the pointers, you have a variety of pointers here that you can choose from and a whole lot more control over the small, medium, large that I was showing you in the ease of access. You can go into how fast things move. So the pointer speed and then also these visuals here sometimes make it easier for you to know where the mouse is. Um, I particularly like this one to show the location of the pointer when I press the control key. So if I can't find my mouse cursor, I can hit my control key and it'll put that circle around it to bring it to my highlight. So that's a nice um, thing that helps you. But if you want it out of your way when you're typing, then you're going to select that. So if it's hiding while you're typing and then you decide you need to find it, you can hit your control key and there's your mouse. Um, here's your wheel controls again for your scrolling with your wheel on your mouse and you can control exactly how much happens there. And then this tells you what kind of mouse you're using because a lot of people switch between mouses. I'm using a, a wireless mouse right now, but I might be using a joystick or I might be using some other kind of uh, uh, trackball or a trackpad of some kind to access my computer. So this will tell you exactly what kind of mouse that you're using. And then these tabs will change depending on what kind of mouse that mouse uh, device that you're using. So just know that there's a lot of things you can do so that you can build in your success. And if you need assistance with it, just be sure and send me an email at Eileen Garza at tombowisd.net and I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks.